Welcome back. Are you ready for the boat season to begin? I certainly am. Marcy Jones is also live at the Spring Boat Show in Essex to find out about the newest technology and trends to get out on the water. Marcy, are you revving up the engines, the mercury? <laughs> Oh, yes. You guys have no idea what's been going on. I mean, Bob was just talking about blow-up dolls. We don't even know what's going on. It's a Friday for sure here on the water. It is a party. Bob, what's going on? Well, we're having a boat show, as you can see, here in Essex. We definitely are. We want to talk about all of the incredible boats that you have for sale. Yeah. We've got a, we've got something for everybody, right? We do here. I mean, the boats are ranging from uh, small rib inflatables at 15 feet up to 60-foot motor yachts. So you got everything here. Sailboats, now, for a boat powerful. guy, do you ever still get really excited about something that you haven't seen before, something that's really good looking? Uh, oh, of course. <laughs> well, yeah, Absolutely. why wouldn't you, right? Yeah. Um, All right, this is such a unique show, too, because it's on the water, which is what we love. It's totally different than going to a convention center, let's say, and seeing the boats not in motion not on the water what is it like for somebody who kind of sees them it's all different you, yeah I mean the in-water shows are really exciting and, uh, and it's a pleasure to be versus in a building and you can see the boats in their natural settings and yeah and it's much more exciting what's uh, one that you have your eye on right now well my boats for sale over here I've got oh, a, my, okay. my listing is a 42 foot Sabre twin diesel uh, cruiser Wow uh, but I'm also attracted there's a big trend these days to the uh, outboards and putting three four even five outboards on the back of a 40 well, now for somebody who is a boat novice like myself what does does that mean exactly? Well, the trend happened when the horsepower ratings of the outboards got large enough to displace the diesel engines that were down in the engine room. So it, it, there's a lot more space in the boat now when the okay. motors are on the back and uh, they're quiet and smooth and fuel efficient. Ooh. So, Love and, to hear that. Yeah. So there's a picture. You can see some of these boats over here that are near, almost 40 feet, and they have three outboards on the back. That's probably the biggest trend right now in propulsion in the industry. Love that you're talking trends. Thank you so much, Bob. Moving down to Bob number two. Wow. Hi. Hey there. <laughs> Hi. How is it? So first Bob's boat is 42 feet, right? How big is yours? Mine was 28. Oh, okay. Oh, that You know what? Yeah. It's not the size of the boat. No. The motion of the ocean. You're 100% sure correct. All right, so we are talking about the very important cause that is going to be heavily benefited by this incredible three-day in-the-water boat show, Sales Up for Cancer. Tell us about this incredible organization. Thank you for using that adjective, incredible, because I believe it is. This is a, just a tremendous show, and we're absolutely so excited to be here for, I think it's our seventh year. Yep. I started it 13 years ago. I'm a two-time wow. cancer survivor, a sailor, and it was a combination of my love of sailing mm -hmm. and to help cancer patients. I know what it's like to be stressed out when you have cancer yes. and you can't pay your bills, so we do everything we can to support cancer patients. Absolutely. I also think it's really important to point out the fact that the water is so calming for people, and I know when they're going through a struggle in life, it's important to try and keep the stress down as much as possible. Do you feel more calm when you're out on the water? Maybe not with me, but with other people? No, I, 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 <laughs> let me add I do with you. Oh. But that is one of the reasons when I started and I developed a thing called the picnic fleet. Okay. Where I wanted sailors when they took their boat out when we had our regatta, which is coming up June 16th and 17th, Incredible. to take cancer patients out. Oh, I love that. And, We're going to have to do another story on that. And give them a nice, uh, you know, calming afternoon out on the water, relaxing, and, uh, and then they can come back to the uh, regatta, post regatta party where we give out the awards and they can have dinner with us and just just have a lot of fun. That sounds my, my mission is to have a fun and enjoyment while um, you know serving a good cause, and I think my cause is great. I do too. All right, really quick before we toss back because we're running out of time. If people can't make it to the boat show that starts today at one. How can they help the cause still? Well, they can go to su4c.org, okay. and there's plenty of ways to volunteer and, um, you know, and, and, and donate. Yep. But the weather's going to be fantastic. We've got a sunset cruise tomorrow. Okay. And believe me, regardless of how cloudy it is, the sun will set. Yes. Okay. No one's going to rain on our parade here. All right, guys, we're tossing back to you. We're going to be back with much more coming up in just a little bit. All, All right. right. Thanks, Marcy. I had a Clipper Marine 21, and then my father upgraded to a Catalina 25. Really? Sailboats growing up. Yeah, wow. we had a lot of fun. Did you take that Catalina to the wine mixer? No, we did not. <laughs> <laughs>